Hi, I'm John, the Banking Systems Engineer, Termel, and Lesson 43 is how Argentina paid off their massive foreign debt to the IMF World Bank two years early after being pronounced a financial corpse. How they do that, only we know. This is the last ex last explanation of it and the last installment in the Argentina Manages to Pull Out Weekend 2 series. Argentina debt paid off two years early. That's a story. Massive debt. So you'll remember that I explained years ago that one of the greatest benefits of big corporations having to take those Argentinian farmers IOUs for tons of grain permitted those social grain currencies to cancel out any excess internal debt. Remember, if I owe you money and you owe a third guy money and he owes me money, we could be chasing ourselves or accounting departments forever trying to get payments while we're all short. But if we found out that I owe you, you owe him and he owes me, we can cancel that overlapping debt out. Well, that happens automatically when everybody has an awful lot of money that they can't put in the bank. What are you going to do with money you can't put in the bank? The best thing you can do is pay off your creditors. And that's exactly what happened in Argentina, where everybody just happened to pay off all their internal creditors and that released all their money for payment of exterior debt, resulting in Argentina massive debt paid off two years early after we heard arguments about them being chased by the IMF. So, um, there it is. So, here's what happened. The article from the uh by richard walker american free press so what happened i say lenders are dismayed well we know the lenders are going to be dismayed when everybody's out of debt so in 2001 the economy of argentina was declared dead but it has suddenly come alive and paid off a massive 9.5 billion dollar debt to the international monetary fund almost two years ahead of schedule what happened suddenly came alive they say well i announced the rebirth years ago when we found out monsanto gm ford had been forced to accept a social currency of farmers ious for grain thus providing a stable one over s currency to enable the pay down of all internal debt rw the payment which was announced on january 3rd represented a third of the country's federal reserves and was aimed at once and for all breaking the financial stranglehold of the imf and its lending partners the paris club international banks and private lenders have had for decades on that nation the move shocked many of those in the financial world who four years ago pronounced argentina a financial corpse so technically, the money system remained a corpse while the social credits took over. I hear the governments managed to find a way to lure currency users back to paying usury on what they used to get for a mere service charge. So continuing, at that time there was political unrest, massive unemployment, a failing currency, and ordinary Argentinians lining up outside banks to remove their assets before they evaporated in a complete currency meltdown. Yes, and then something changed. What? At the time of the crisis in Argentina, the IMF, as it had been done in neighboring countries, stepped in with offers of loans and demands for harsh measures, such as cutting basic salaries from 200 a month to 160 and reducing government payments to the elderly. That really helps the IMF when you stick it to the elderly. So, in return, Argentina was promised a big aid package from private lenders, as long as the elderly don't get any the World Bank and the IMF. However, Argentina learned, just like Brazil and other nations in the region before that, that being tied to the IMF meant being forced to follow its promotion of globalization, free trade, and privatization. Those were policies which often turned out to be of no benefit to ordinary people or to the economies of the countries subjected to them. Whoa, they sure did get into what didn't work in reporting what happened. So offers of loans and demands for harsh measures is what did not work. So what did work? <laughs> they must report the miracle, but can't report the cause. We know the cause. We know that when the system crashed, the provincial provinces started issuing their own provincial bonds as currency. Great stuff. 
Then the creditos barter networks exploded when the banking system closed. And then finally, the federal government started issuing its own pesos, interest-free, in payment of goods and services, good uh, services-backed poker chips. And that's what basically saved the whole country. Well, they're not stupid in the other countries down south. They noticed Gee, Argentina was broke five years ago. Now they're having a rally and paying off their debt. What happened? Well, this was in January, I'm sorry, of December 2005. Article says from the Daily News at ElUniversal.com, Caracas, Monday, December 19th, Chavez proposes alternate social currency. Yeah, you go. President Hugo Chavez said he's to implement his 2007 to 213 government plan as of January 2006, even though the vote where is to run for re-election is 12 months away. One of his intended moves is to create a so-called social currency alternate to the Venezuelan Bolivar. So, something that you can spend inside the country if not out. Even better would be his use of national social currency. That would be strengthened. Under this proposal, a number of local tenders would be created to exchange goods and services between cooperatives and endogenous development cores being implemented under the aegis of the Popular Economy Ministry, headed by Elmas Wa, Juawa. I'd take Venezuela's local tenders created to exchange in Canada too, wouldn't you? Why call good paper that buys Venezuelan oil only local? Chavez promises for the next year include eradication of large estates by application of a Chavez method, which involves negotiation of land reapportionment with current owners, extension of social products known as, known as missions, and drafting a new job generations plan. And now he's got more stable money to buy them out with credits based upon the payones who will be buying their own homes. So... Once they start getting interest-free social credit loans from their national bank, they're all going to love them. As much as Americans loved Lincoln for issuing interest-free U.S. Treasury green banks. Just go check out my poetry on the Federal Reserve. So, that's it. Argentina system went crashed. They had a big barter network ready to go. And all the people managed to survive by printing their own time creditos currencies. At the same time, you had all the provinces issuing their state bonds in small denominations, paid for all provincial services and goods and things, and then people could pay their taxes with those provincial bonds. So everybody took them, especially in provinces next door to provinces too. And finally, you had the federal government who used their national bank properly and paid for expenses like King Henry the first did with tallies. He simply paid for all expenses with brand new money. And at the end of the year, that was the tax to match the money issued. Well, that's what Argentina did too. So that's how Argentina popped out of debt, paid off all their debts, all their internal debt, and now they're ripe for plucking again. <laughs> and they're falling for it again, I bet. We'll find out.